In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually calibrate your Zortrax M200. Um, to do this, you're going to need the power to be turned off. You'll need a clean um, build plate, a clean nozzle and a business card. So the first thing you need to do is tighten up the plate by tightening all the screws on the underside like this. And you might need to put a little bit of pressure down on the, uh, the top of the plate when you do this, just to contract the spring. And once that's done, you need to move the print head over to the front left of the printer. And place a business card just underneath it. This is going to be our, our gauge for the distance. And then you probably want to put a glove on um, while you rotate the threaded rod at the back, just to raise the plate up. And you just want the nozzle to be as close to the card as you can, but um, don't actually let it touch it. Okay, so now move the print head back to the far left corner. And this time we'll use the business card and slowly release the, um, the threaded nut on the underside of the plate just to get it so that the, uh, the business card has a slight bit of resistance against it. And then move the head to the, the far right hand corner and repeat the process. So you're basically just using the nozzle as a, as a guide um, to make sure that you get the distance in each corner exactly the same. It's best if you screw the uh, nut on the bottom in very small increments at a time. You don't want to over tighten it. So now we move the print head to the front right hand corner. And on the front we'll, there's only one, um, one nut to, to adjust. So we'll do the same process using this one. and just keep going until uh, we get a slight bit of resistance as before. So that looks just about right. And then as long as we've done this correctly, the front left hand corner should be at the same distance um, as this front right and the two other corners as well. Now you're safe to turn your machine back on and you can carry on printing as normal. Um, if you have any questions about this process or would like to know a bit more, uh, just leave your comments in the section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.